All right, here he is, folks, a man who needs no introduction to this fan base. Underrated in the looks department, by the way, a man who has won a title in every promotion in which he has competed, the UFC Hall of Famer, Daniel Cormier. John Anik, if looks could kill, <laughs> Daniel Cormier would be America's most wanted. But ultimately, it's about fighting, and this dude can fight from wrestling, an Olympic pedigree, college national All-American, to a double champion in the UFC. He possesses all the skill in the world, and tonight, once again, he tries to get his hand raised. What a phenomenal fighter, and uh, got a model body, too. Good body, <laughs> great smile. 2018, as many of you know, was the year of Daniel Cormier. You can argue his win over Stipe Miocic to rest away the heavyweight title is the singular biggest win in mixed martial arts history. And now DC back on the proven ground tonight. We'll see how he handles this heavyweight challenge. who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't getting worse. All right, so the tension is palpable. Both fighters have graced the octagon, ready to go here at the famed Honda Center in the Big A Anaheim, California. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. Palmier. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, USC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom Espinal! One of the best in the business, Ready, Herb fight. Dean, is our referee tonight. Right, early round action here, and the wins and bonuses just continue to pile up for the budding heavyweight contender, Tom Aspinall. Truly a five-tool player when it comes to his skills, but in this particular matchup, he believes the ground game is going to be his bread and butter. He believes we're looking at a submission finish here tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at those weapons. Look at how he's his knees to the bottom. Night kick. Yes. Aspinall gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Yancy jump. Aspinall's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Oh, he's looking for the finish now. It's a fight now. Who's going to win this position? Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. He's getting them out here. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Cormier getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. All right, feet on the hips here.
Oh, great reversal to top position by Cormier. Takes his back now. Cormier is able to flatten him out now. This could be real trouble now. Oh, that will make a choke attempt is tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. The there it is. Now he's won the mount. Aspinall's in half guard now. All right, try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Nice defense. What a strike from off of his back. Cormier's right back to the full mount here. Oh, big shots from the top. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fight. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, half-guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Great ground and pound by this man. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by DC. Nicely done. 45 seconds to go here in round one. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Massive shot from the top. Cormier's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Aspinall. Round two straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. I want you to avoid that takedown. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, let's get to round two. Clean with the right hook. Just missed with the left there. Gets to the single collar tie now. Able to work it into a takedown there. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Aspinall's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Cormier. 
now he's inside control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Mm, nice. Cormier's back inside control here. Head movement, he's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the map? All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. He passes to half guard. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swing. He can't miss it, eh? and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or pick round and round. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight. He's got to be careful here. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse, and he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Nice front kick there. Switch kick to the body by Aspinall. Back and forth we go. Well, another heavy takedown there from the two-time U.S. Olympian. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And now, hold on. Get attack the normal. Oh, somehow, somehow, you got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Back mount now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Cormier. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on. Now he's got a good body position. Yup. Final seconds here of round two. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by DC. All right, nice work in that. Excellent ground control. You're really showing the judges that you're in charge. Next time you get it down to the ground, I want you to start. Ready to fight? Ready. Come Here on. we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice punch man over the top. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to... Now the transition to the judo throw right into 
of side control where he will have no shortage of options. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Once he got him cut, he recognized, oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by DC. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Aspinall's in half guard. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you, but that cut just continues to get targeted by well, his he's opponent. Aspinall's going for the sub here. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated and looking for the finish. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Good work from the top here by Cormier. Great defense by this fighter. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Aspinall's in half goal. We past the midpoint here of the fight. All right, working inside the close guard now. Aspinall getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Cormier's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Aspinall's back in full guard now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Changing the position. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. He's having his way with him here. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Cormier out of the half guard here. We'll see if he can work for a dominant position. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. He's got to be careful here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely mangled. I wouldn't be... Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, Jack. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Aspinall. Right. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, heading back to the corner, and Aspinall's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably 
quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside position did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. All right, so here we go with that first round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Oh, and there is another knee left. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. He's really working hard for his guillotine, but he can't pull on his arms. He's got to make sure it's secure if he's going to go 100% and try to get this finish. Jeez, Louise is tough. Good job understanding the transitions. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Nice transition. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cormier. In the half guard. Mount. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Aspinall's cheek is just pouring blood all over his face, all over the canvas. That gash is terrible. So bad, we might even get a stoppage here. We'll see. He's got his back. Cormier's really pressing now. And he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Great shot from the top position. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Aspinall's back into full guard. Oh, good defense. Yes. And there you go. Again, half guard. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by DC. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Lands with the ground and pound. Another strike gets through from the top position. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Great submission defense. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Beautiful 
transition. Aspinall's in half guard. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans oh, want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. All right, that'll do it for that round. Aspinall's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside physician be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Oh, Tyler Ty. Nice takedown. There you go. He passed the half guard. All right, close guard now. Got to watch his neck. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he's out. Cormier ground and pound from half guard. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. He gets denied. Block. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Oh, right into mouth. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Aspinall. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch to start to land from the top position. He's got to start throwing now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Aspinall. Three minutes now to go on the fight. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, nice. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, to the mouth. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Move, move, move. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Get the ball here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Yep, got to be very careful there. Postures up now and lands the vicious head strike. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Aspinall's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. 
Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Beautiful entry and finish on that takedown. Look for him to try to advance now to get to a dominant position. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, Gale's on the submission now. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Close guard. He passes the half. Aspinall's back in full now. <laughs> Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC. Another strong performance for the UFC Hall of Famer, Daniel Cormier, wins this fight tonight by decision in front of the adoring masses here in the fight capital. A lot of times it comes down to that championship experience of Cormier. When the fight goes long, he is comfortable in those moments. And tonight, he showed why, and he earned a massive decision victory.